this video you will learn how to make these cell layer illustrations and by the end we'll see a few ways that you can adapt them for your applications. Let's dive straight into geometry nodes. Add a volume cube and add a Voronoi texture to control the density of the volume. Select the distance to edge feature. Add a volume to mesh node. I increase the resolution of the volume. Now that we have a mesh, we can also set its material and control it at any time. Another way to control the look of this thing is to take the position vector and multiply it by some value. And that is the basic setup. What is great with this is that you have many controls to change how the cells look. The randomness slider of the texture can make tissues that are more or less organized. The vector math node will change the overall shape of the tissue if you want cells that are more flat or more elongated. For multiple layers, you can just select the whole thing and duplicate it. Adjust the volume coordinates so that it sits right on top and feed both meshes to a join geometry node. The threshold value of the volume to mesh can help you make a more packed or more spaced out look. Now, let's say you want a shape that is not a cube, like an organoid or something. Here I quickly model a blob with metaballs and make it fit inside the cells. You can apply the same geonode setup and then take the geometry input that we just created and feed it with the cells into a mesh boolean intersect. I thought this worked fine, however for some reason this is very intensive in computer resources so I managed to crash Blender a few times. Definitely let me know in the comments if you find a better way to do it. Please let me know if you create anything with this technique.